3D printers which can build living biological systems. Interest in 3D printing living tissues have grown in recent years, but developing an effective way to use the technology has been difficult, particularly since accurately controlling the position of cells in 3D is hard to do, but it is not impossible. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's talk about 3D printers which could build living biological systems. But before we start the video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos. Traditional printers like the type you have in your home or office work in two dimensions. That is, they are able to print text or images on a flat surface. 3D printers at additional dimension depth Z. They can move up and down, left and right, and backward and forward. And instead of delivering ink on paper, they distribute different materials, ranging from polymers, including plastics, metals, ceramics, even chocolate to print an item layer by layer in a process that is known as additive manufacturing. To create a 3D object, you first need a blueprint that is a digital file created using modeling software. Once created, the computer-generated model is sent to the printer. Your chosen material, such as plastic, is loaded into the device, ready to be heated to allow it to easily flow from the printer nozzle. As it reads through the blueprint, the printer head moves up and down, side to side, and forward and back, depositing successive layers of the chosen material to build up your final product. As each layer is printed, it transforms into a solid form, either by cooling, chemical reaction often induced by light, or by the mixing of two different solutions delivered by the printer head. New layers adhere to the previous one to create a stable, cohesive item. Almost any shape can be created in this way, including moving parts and complex layers. A wide range of items are already being created using 3D printers, including jewelry, clothing, toys, prototypes, camera cases, and high-end manufactured items. Bioprinters work in almost the exact same way as 3D printers, with one key difference. Instead of delivering materials such as plastic, ceramic, metal, or food, they deposit layers of biomaterial that may include living cells to build complex structures like blood vessels or skin tissue. Hang on, living cells, where do they get those? Well, every tissue in the body is naturally made up of different cell types. So the required cells, kidney cells, skin cells, and so on, are taken from a patient and then cultivated until they are enough to create the bio ink, which is loaded onto the printer. This is not always possible. So for some tissues, adult stem cells, which can develop to form the cells required in different tissues, can be used. It remains a challenge to print high-resolution living tissues. A research led by Professor Hagen Bailey, professor of chemical biology in Oxford's Department of Chemistry, the team devised a way to produce tissues in self-contained cells that support the structures to keep their shape. The cells are contained within protective nanoliter droplets wrapped in a liquid coating that could be assembled layer by layer into a living structure. Producing printed tissues in this way improves the survival rate of the individual cells and allows the team to improve on current techniques by building each tissue one drop at a time to a more favorable resolution. To be useful, artificial tissues need to be able to mimic the behaviors and functions of the human body. The method enables the fabrication of patterned cellular constructions, which, once fully grown, mimic or potentially enhance natural tissue. In research published in the journal Scientific Reports, an interdisciplinary team from the Department of Chemistry and the Department of Physiology, Anatomy and Genetics at Oxford, and the Center of Molecular Medicine at Bristol, demonstrated how a range of human and animal cells can be printed in high-resolution tissue constructs. Dr. Alexander Graham, lead author and 3D bioprinting scientist at OxyBio, said, We were aiming to fabricate three-dimensional living tissue that could display the basic behaviors and physiology found in natural organisms. To date, there are limited examples of printed tissue, which have the complex cellular architecture of native tissue. Hence, we focus on designing a high-resolution cell printing platform from relatively inexpensive components that could be used to reproductively produce artificial tissues with appropriate complexity from a range of cells, including stem cells. The researchers hope that, with further development, the materials could have a wide impact on healthcare worldwide. Potential applications include shaping reproductible tissue models that could take away the need for clinical and animal testing. The team completed their research last year and have since taken steps toward commercializing the technique and making it more widely available. In January 2016, OxyBio officially spun out from the Bailey Lab. The company aims to commercialize the technique for industrial and biomedical purposes. Over the coming months, they will work to develop new complementary printing techniques. 
that allow the use of a wide range of living and hybrid materials to produce tissues at industrial scale. Dr. Sam Aloff, Chief Technology Officer at OxyBio, said, There are many potential applications for bioprinting, and we believe it will be possible to create personalized treatments by using cells sourced from patients to mimic or enhance natural tissue functions. In the future, 3D bioprinted tissues may also be used for diagnostic applications, for example, for a drug or toxin screens. There are already many bioprinters built, and they are doing an excellent job building some very realistic human organs. Organovo's Novogen MMX 3D Bioprinter is probably the most well-known in and outside of the 3D printing industry because the San Diego-based company is the only pure-play 3D bioprinting company to have gone public and to have taken a ride on the stock market roller coaster these past couple of years. The reason why it is the second in our list is because Organovo does not sell its Novogen MMX technology, but only uses it to produce biofficial tissues which it sells to large drug manufacturers in order for them to test their new products more efficiently. Named Best Invention of 2010 by Time Magazine, Organovo's bioprinter works by taking cells from research cell line, a patient, or other sources, and growing them in a culture until enough cells are present. The cells are then collected and specially incubated in order to form bioink, consisting of cells, and the building blocks to form a functional organ system in vitro. This is the beginning stage of a solid tissue formation. The cell mixture is then loaded into a cartridge, which is placed into the printer. With a computer program script, the printer deposits the tissue into its desired shape. The printed tissue is incubated for 48 hours or more to allow it to mature. The company has already begun selling 3D printed liver cells and has produced kidney tissue and is in the process of developing skin tissue through a partnership with El Oriol. Along with agreements with pharmaceutical giant Merck and Yale University, Organovo has also signed a partnership with Autodesk for the development of a more efficient CAD software specifically for 3D bioprinting. Switzerland-based Regan HU is probably one of the companies most focused on the commercial aspect of 3D bioprinters and bioprinting consumables. It provides two cutting-edge bioprinting solutions that work by combining multiple extracellular matrix materials hydrogels, cells, and bioactives within a three-dimensional spatially controlled environment, enabling highly dynamic networks of proteins and signal transduction pathways in tissues, cell-cell and cell-extracellular matrix integrations. The high-end biofactory was developed to allow researchers to pattern cells, biomolecules, and a range of soft and rigid materials and desirable 3D composite structures in order to mimic biomimetic tissue models. The more affordable 3D discovery system was configured as a cost-effective 3D bioprinting platform to explore the potential of 3D tissue engineering. Regan HU also manufactures and sells biomaterials for use with its 3D bioprinters. BioInc is a chemically defined hydrogel to support growth of different cell types. It allows cell adhesion, mimics the natural extracellular matrix, and is biodegradable. OsteoInc is a ready-to-use calcium phosphate paste close to the chemical composition of a human bone for structural engineering. Perhaps one of the clearest examples of how the bioprinting market is running on parallel lines as the traditional 3D printing market, BioBots was an SXSW finalist startup and its first product is a high-resolution desktop 3D bioprinter that builds functional three-dimensional living tissue. It uses a pressure extrusion system printing with a bevy of hydrogels such as agarose, collagen, alginate, and polythene glycol. Upon extrusion, blue light and UV light technology are used to cure the material without damaging any living cells. Soon, with the help of bioprinters, there will be no need for human donors for various organs as 3D printed organs will replace them. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Which of the bioprinters in the video was your favorite? Comment and let us know. And thank you for watching.